Here we are. I am Andrew Garfield, and I am here with BuzzFeed, and I am going to be reading your first tweets. Oh, God. Andrew Garfield is a precious bean. Protect him. Thanks, Dad. I love you, too. That's sweet. See, you were so starting soft. Can we talk about how gorgeous Andrew Garfield is for a sec? Like, that man is f***ing beautiful. I'd let him eat crackers in bed. <laughs> That was a journey. I mean, the first part is just like incredibly flattering and um, as misguided as it is. And then the crackers in bed thing is, I guess, because crackers are messy. Thank you so much. It's very, very kind. I wouldn't let myself eat crackers in bed because I slightly OCD when it comes to cleanliness in bed. Oh God, I'm going to move on. Andrew Garfield, if you see this on your secret Twitter account, I'm free this weekend if you want to get lunch or drinks or something and just let me know. If you want to do it earlier, I can do dinner during the week, but I'm usually busy before six. I love that. That's very, very, I like hypervigilance. I like specificity of plans. I, I wouldn't know where to find you, but I am free this weekend. I can't believe Andrew Garfield invented being sexy. <laughs> I find it hard to believe to the point of knowing that it's not true. Who was it that invented being sexy? Like when was sexy invented? I guess consciously it would have to be a human, although I'm sure before humans existed in the cosmos and on Earth, there were there are there are forms of life that. Did anyone else think about the oct my octopus teacher being a little like oddly sexy? Not sexy, but like <laughs> I know I noticed like on online there are people that were like I love that film by the way, and I didn't find it sexy. It was someone else that thought that there was. Some... I just read one thing online, something sexy happening between the octopus and um, the man. Why did I agree to this? I can't believe I lived through shave Andrew Garfield, long hair Andrew Garfield, mustache Andrew Garfield, and now blonde Andrew Garfield. He really gave it all to us. <sighs> this is tricky because the ego is, is such a, a delicate thing and I, I'm a Leo man and it's very, very hard for me not to. Flattery is the way into my heart. I'm trying to take these and, and just kind of bow so that the compliments kind of fly over my head. You know, that was the original um, impetus behind the inventing bowing when it, after a performance or whatever. It was actually to let the applause fly over your head so you didn't get inflated. I kind of dig that. So this is like a real test for me to not get egotistical. Even mustache Andrew Garfield, that was a dark time for everybody. Andrew Garfield is literally the daddy of all daddies. If I'm literally the daddy of all daddies, it means I'm some form of father god, which I'm very, very uncomfortable with. And even my ego can't handle that. But you know what? For the next five minutes, I will accept being the daddy of all daddies. Whatever that means. Andrew Garfield is thick and woke to the best things to be. If I am in fact thick, my god, that's the dream. Because when I was a kid, I was, the op I was a streak of piss, as you might say. So any thickness or anyone claiming that I have thickness, I appreciate. And wokeness too. SWAG is an acronym for sex with Andrew Garfield. I've been trying to tell you all. Andrew Garfield is like a fine mixture of sexy and cute and seductive like shit, bro. Bro, this is actually becoming too much because I, this is gonna make me self-reflect in a way that I don't want to. But listen, if that's how you feel, bro, I'm not gonna try and correct you. If blonde Andrew Garfield ever kills me, see, I knew it was gonna get violent. I knew it was gonna get violent. It always gets violent. If blonde Andrew Garfield ever kills me, do not prosecute him because he caught me slipping. That is on me. God, man, this shit is tricky. Do prosecute me if I ever kill this person because um, I love justice. I wish Andrew Garfield would whisper, you better lawyer up, asshole, in my ear. You better lawyer up, asshole. The cool thing about that movie, my love for Jesse Eisenberg and the relationship that we created for that film meant that I wanted that line to hurt him more than if I shouted it. I wanted it to be lodged in his f***ing soul. If I can't make money in other ways, I will charge people for me to whisper in their ear, you better lawyer up, asshole. It's kind of a good side gig. Yes, the rumors are true. I am a slut for Andrew Garfield. <laughs> Uh, thank you. That's so generous. I promise I will only be respectful. 95% of the reason I love Spider-Man is because of Andrew Garfield's butt in that suit. That's harsh on uh, the rest of my performance. We're back to thickness. I'm just happy to be of service. Would not be upset if Andrew Garfield spit in my mouth. Okay. I want Andrew Garfield to smash a laptop on my tits. <laughs> Good.
I'm not gonna do that. I draw the line. Nope. Like this is like pro tip and also like boundaries. Like if anyone says, I wanna smash a laptop on your breasts, just say, get out of my house. Andrew Garfield's spandex clad buttocks should be legally obliged to appear in all superhero movies from now on. I wonder what my fee would be to bring that thickness. Tom Holland with Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield? My bussy is shaking. <laughs> oh, the bussy. Bussy shaking is, um, we know where that leads. And uh, I'm afraid it may be shaking in vain. Thank you for these thirst tweets. This was really fun and slightly disturbing and uh, occasionally arousing. So thank you. There's a movie and it's called Mainstream and my friend Gia Coppola wrote and directed it. And it's with Maya Hawke, who is wonderful. And it's with Nat Wolf, who is my boyfriend. And I got to do some really crazy stuff. I hope you guys watch and enjoy. Much love. Thank you.